coming in today. LaShore the back at first and ten Lions. Stafford is gone deep. And incomplete for Calvin Johnson. Richard Sherman working right there with him. And we'll get to that Seattle secondary. Bobby Wagner right in the middle. And then the secondary, the biggest in the NFL. Excuse me, past the first down marker. But they gave him his forward progress. So just beyond the 29-yard line. Under. Six-yard line is Brandon Pettigrew, his 32nd catch of this season. Now, remember Calvin Johnson, who they tried deep on their opening series, bothered by a sore knee this week, missed some practice time, but he's going to shoulder the load. I'm still amazed that he and Matthew Stafford have not connected on a touchdown pass this year. His one touchdown catch came from back of Sean Hill. Yeah, and and you know what? On top of that is he's been tackled six times inside the five-yard line, three times inside the one. Me, oh, it's me. shocking that he's only got one touchdown six games in. Burger has adjusted well there on second and 11 for Stafford from the shotgun. Sidearm throw that goes into the turf. Calvin Johnson was in the neighborhood. It'll be third down. The beauty of a four man rush and you have four guys that can get there is that you don't need to pressure and send extra guys when it's touched. But the coverage was very good downfield. It'll bring up third down. Here's the coverage down the field. Look at Seattle. They got eight guys in coverage. They only sent three. So Calvin trying to work his way through the zone defense. Man to the other side on Titus Young. Nowhere to go with Matthew Stafford. Good job by him though. Just getting rid of the ball and not taking the sack. Kevin Smith is in a running back. Still no catch hey. for Calvin Johnson. Coming to you, Doug. Position. They love to run his way when he's up here on the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they do it here. Quick throw. For the first down is Titus Young. And Richard Sherman frustrated. Just over three minutes to go. Lions have two timeouts. Seattle has all three. Here's what I love about this play is it's going right here to this guy, but watch the block by Megatron, the big Calvin Johnson. You see him just jack, jack Richard Sherman in a two-hand shiver and just lifted him off the ground. That was the key to picking up the first down and getting the extra yards for Titus Young. On first and ten, after gain of 11, made the play. You mentioned Megatron. It was... Richard Sherman, who tweeted, and he loves to have fun with this kind of stuff, said, I'm going to be Optimus Prime this week. That was his Twitter handle, obviously, in the... Well, fill us all in on who Optimus Prime is with the Autobots. <laughs> I'm not, I'm Does he need a good guy that's leading the good Autobots? <laughs> well, other people said that you, you should let other people give you a nickname. Don't nickname yourself. Yeah, Self-proclaimed? Okay. I talked to Sherman about the, uh, the pregame game warm-up. He said, I was just having fun with that. It's about stopping the big guy, and, and we're closer to him than most teams because of how tall we are in the secondary. Pass complete to Scheffler. Dropped out of the 25-yard line. But even Pete Carroll didn't necessarily like a lot of the extra well, chatter. Well, Pete wishes he would tone it down. He, he said it's too much. We, we don't need Richard out there broadcasting. Basically, branding himself is what you, you think about. Although, Brandon Browner on the other side said he likes when he's talking. Jamie Maggio. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Chris, you know, you were talking about the Richard Sherman Optimus Prime story. Well, Richard Sherman, obviously big fan of the Transformers. He was a little starstruck this week when he got a phone call from the actor Peter Cullen, who is the voice of Optimus Prime in the movie. Richard was so excited. He said, can you call back and leave a message on my voicemail? I want to share it with my teammates. The message went like this. Richard, this is Optimus Prime. When you see Megatron, you must tell him, one shall stand, one shall fall. <laughs> wish, wish you the best. Roll out. How about that, guys? Oh, I love it. That's great, Jamie. And he, and boy, Optimus Prime does have. You talk about great voices in sports. And those two, Calvin Johnson does not have a catch in the first half. Meanwhile, Calvin Johnson has been targeted twice. It's worth repeating because the yardage has been there this year, but still no touchdown connection between him and Matthew Stafford. In this game, he does not have a catch at all. Megatron. That's shocking to me. I, I just don't know how you have a guy that's that talented, maybe the most talented guy in the league. I don't care what the coverage is. He deserves 10 targets. 
Tron with the catch. The voice of Optimum Prime somewhere in that secondary. But if they can get Calvin going, it could change this game entirely and maybe the Lions' season. And I have noticed Pete Carroll here in the second half defensively has started to send more pressure. We've seen Earl Thomas come on a blitz. We've seen a linebacker or two come on a blitz. And if you do that, that certainly puts your corners in one-on-one -on -one isolation matchups out here to the outside. The yard line. You got to take your shot to Calvin. Do they play it safe? Turnovers in the red zone a problem? I say you take it up top right to that guy. On first down, they have one timeout remaining. Seattle has two. Passes incomplete for Tony Scheffler. No flags. And he had Calvin Johnson in the back of the end zone for sure. Earl Thomas, the safety, was playing over the top. But underneath the top on Scheffler, you're going to see Calvin out of the slot there. He's going to take it vertical. He was running a corner route. Richard Sherman was playing the corner route the whole way. But it was wide open if you had cut to the inside where the safety vacated Earl Thomas to go get Scheffler. Calvin Johnson top of your screen to Stafford's right. Scheffler in the slot. That's Calvin Johnson. Off his hands. The captain's got to make this catch. Corner route set up perfectly. Richard Sherman. They're sitting in cover two where Cam Chancellor's got the deep half of the field. A beautiful throw from Stafford. It's the perfect cover two beater. Would have been a tough catch, but one that Calvin makes 99 out of 100 times. He's had three drops today and only three catches. It's third no, down. Nice. 